How's it going, everybody? Trainer Connor here, and you're about to watch a Wi-Fi battle video. Now, I hope you guys are having a good week here. I'm having a relatively secure week. Nothing too major going on, which was far off from what I was expecting, because I was going to have a busy week based on my predictions, but apparently I have a very smooth week. Anyways, to the match here. We have a match against Subi, so Subi is one of my tour followers. A pretty fun match, but a very long one too. My opponent switched out from his Venom Moth into his Umbreon. Now his Umbreon is obviously specially defensive as that flamethrower from my Barkevius didn't really do that much. So I don't know why I went into Box Roy right here. Box Roy is my Mega Heracross. My opponent predicted that. I should have gone into my Ironclad, my Clef Key, which you guys will see in just a moment here. But my opponent did make a great play there. So now I need to go back into Barkevius because of the threat of Skarmory coming in. Because Skarmory is going to probably Brave Bird up Soul Fox, which I don't want. Fortunately, I do force him out, goes back into Umbreon, but this time I'm going to go for the Will Wisp by Miss. If he has Wish, then that wouldn't matter too much. Now this is the reason why I should have gone into Ironclad, because I bring it in right here, goes for another foul play, and that gets so little damage right there. See? Boom. And that did that much. Wow, I really should have not gone to Mok Choi, my hair costs like that. But it's a lesson learned. I didn't care if he wanted to switch into Vinyl Moth, because I just go into uh, the play rough there. Play rough just to hit something. I, I'm not always sure if I have any attack EVs on this. This is a defensive cliff key, so I guess not. Wow. Alright, now for Vinyl Moth, I have. Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave is going to help out a little bit there, but I think Venom Moth has the ability that will ignore the paralyzation. I'm not really sure. I have to look it up. Man, I'm not that smart. Oh well. But yeah, I just wanted to do something. I didn't care what. Because obviously the play rough wasn't doing that much. Anyway, I go into Barkevius. My focus sash is in tax still. Which I should have told you guys that has that has a focus sash, but you know. It has a focus sash, alright? So Barkevius goes for flamethrower. I didn't know what he was gonna do. The Venom Moth, I mean. He could go for Pecan Pass. Um I mean, yeah, here we go. The Pecan Pass. He could go into his artillery, which I expected. But he goes into Clam Pearl instead, so that's fine. I just go for for the hyper voice expecting that, so and that did a lot of damage. Now, because of the quiver dance, he's faster than me. And like I said, the focus sash is still intact. We're going to knock out the clam pearl. Awesome. At this point, I'm not really sure what he's going to bring in. He could go into Umbreon, which he does right here. Or he could or he could have gone into his Octory, like I said, so here I burn the synchronizing number on there, but he has heal bell, so that sucks. So that means he probably doesn't have wish. Um, yeah, see, because now his paralyzation is gone, which sucks. Nothing's going right in this battle, apparently. Now he goes for another foul play to knock me out. I just go for another hyper voice. Just to put some damage there. And this way I can bring back in my hair costs and Mega Evolve safely to either force out the Umbreon or he can just stay in and go for a Toxic or something weird. Now the switching to Skarmory is pretty evident, but at the same time, I just wanted to make the safe play here. Just go for the Pin Missile. Yeah, Pin Missile. Yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage to a Skarmory. Not. But I do break his sturdy, but he has leftovers. 
Oh well, I do get a crit. That didn't matter too much. And I hit five times because of my ability and skill link. Fortunately, I don't have technician, which that should be a hidden ability of Mega Heracross, but no, it's gonna be something different. Anyway, so I go and kill Activire here just to put some offensive pressure. Garamari goes for the Stealth Ox. That's unfortunate. I don't have a spinner on this team, apparently. But I guess we'll just have to do the best we can. Now, Ombreon is going to come back in. I know it. But I just wanted to go for that Thunder. It's the strongest attack that I have on this mixed Electivire. Now, this Thunder actually does a good amount there. I do paralyze it, which is not going to be a problem, actually, because Umbreon is pretty slow in general. So, I mean, that's something there. I have Cross Shop, which is going to take out the Umbreon, which is perfect. Fortunately, I don't miss. I tend to miss that move a little bit much there, which... Yeah, that's just unfortunate sometimes. And I also have Fire Punch to put some damage on the area ghost. He goes for the Poison Jab here, and that is going to poison my Electivire, which completely kills my longevity. Man, that's just unfortunate. So many things go wrong, so many things go right sometimes. He goes for that Sucker Punch. Which I did expect I should have gone for a switch out into Starmie. Because Starmie apparently can live a sucker punch from the area dose after Stealth Ox. After Spikes, I don't think I would. But here I go for the Rapid Spin, which I should have gone for that. Because later on, when he brings in Starmie again, he's going to set up those Stealth Ox again. Gosh dang it. I should have gone for a Ice Beam or a Surf or something like that. Now the Starmie that I have has the ability that will boost up a, a cast if it leaks first or... No, I got that wrong. Okay. It's the ability that... Oh, it's an L kick. There we go. An L kick. That's what I have on that Starmie. Man, that was so confusing. So here I go for the Rock Side there as... I just wanted to put some damage on the Skarmory. And I was also f fishing for a flinch, which I don't get. But I do get some damage onto him. This way I can bring an Electivire, go for a Fire Punch, all that stuff. Because basically I'm just going to put some damage on the Skarmory and force him to go for a Brave Bird. If he's not going to go for a Brave Bird. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, he does, but, you know, if he didn't go for it, then that's free damage for me. But, you know, he goes for that Brave Bird, which will allow him to have some recoil damage racking in there. So, that's something. But, of course, the Leftovers is going to just heal right off. Now, instead of going into Electivire, we're just going to go into Draco, my Noivir, who is for Scarf. And my opponent switches out for Death Fogger, which is fine. I just wanted to just go for that in order to hurt the Skarmory some. I could create that did not matter too much. Although that would have been useful for the Skarmory, but you know, Skarmory is a bit frail on the special side, so whatever. He finally switches out and goes into his Octillery. I was expecting an Ice Beam from this thing, and after that, he's going to freeze me because why not, right? I'm having so much bad luck in this battle, so much hats. But this battle is so much fun, I had to post it. Now, the freeze isn't going to matter in the long run because while I do let him set up a lot of quiver dances, I'm still going to lose because of the stealth ox. And if I did switch out, he was going to set up anyway, and then he's going to be faster than me, and then all that good stuff, so. I mean, that's the end of the battle. That's all I have to say. So, we're just going to have to, you know, wash the venom off, sweep my team. If you enjoyed this battle today, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Five more until 100. 
I am doing the best I can with my content. Of course, my narrations are not perfect because of my speech. It's terrible. But I'm doing the best I can. Okay? So, if you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe, like I said. So, now my opponent goes for the sub, and then he goes for the baton pass, goes into his elect. I want to say like the fire base Octillery. Man, I'm, I'm just not getting the right Pokemon in my head, apparently. Never mind that. We're just going to move on, because he goes for Flamethrower, and if I were to live it, which I won't at all, I would have been fog out, and I could paralyze, and I could just go and get Starmie, but Starmie's going to get knocked out anyway, and then Draco is going to be out to all that. Anyways, this battle is over. I will come at you with another battle on Saturday if you're up to it. Be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, you guys, enjoy the next few turns of the battle here, and I'll see you then. Alright, bye now.